My dear respected brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the believers as they're admitted to paradise <laughs> and as he himself subhanahu wa ta'ala and his angels welcome them to paradise and mentions a very beautiful statement in which he says Salamun alaykum tibtum fadkhuluha amin Peace be upon you for tibtum you have been good you have been pure and for that reason you shall be admitted to it to paradise safe and secure and this greeting that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the angels welcome the believers with has a very nice word that is tibtum which Allah is mentioning as a condition for the admission to paradise that you have to be tayyib and the tayyib is the one that has been good in general that has been pure and the tayyib of the deeds it's what's good what's pleasant and what is likable by people and the tayyib of the speech is the good word and what is acceptable by people and what is likable by people. And the tayyib of the a'mal is what is acceptable, what is righteous, what is considered good. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tibtum fadkhuluha. Because you were tayyib, you deserve to be admitted. And you were tayyib in the world, and now you are tayyib in the akhirah and you are qualified to be admitted to paradise. For this reason, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to achieve this concept of a mu'min being tayyib, being good, being pure. And part of this concept of the, purif the purification, the tazkiyah, لَقَدْ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذْ بَعَثَ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِّنْهُمْ يَتْلُوْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابُ وَالْحِكْمَةِ Allah has shown His favors, bestowed His favor over His servant as He sent amongst them a prophet to teach them the word of God and purify them. That purification is so you are tayyib in this dunya, so you can deserve to be tayyib in the akhirah and thus be admitted to paradise. And part of this, the purification mission that the Prophet ﷺ came forth with, he gave us a beautiful example. What the believer should be, what is the example of the believer in this world that should qualify for the tayyib or make him tayyib. And the Prophet ﷺ said, as narrated by Imam Ahmed and many other muhaddith, that, وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِهِ إِنَّ مَثَلَ الْمُؤْمِنِ كَمَثَلِ النَّحْلَى The Prophet ﷺ Swearing by Allah, saying the example of the believer is like the bee, the nahla, the honey. <coughs> and this is what the Prophet ﷺ wanted you to be. How come? قَالَ أَكَلَ الطَّيِّبَ وَوَضَعَ الطَّيِّبَ وَوَقَعَ فَمَا كَسَبْ فَلَمْ تَكْسِرْ وَلَمْ تُحْسِدْ أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم He's giving you an example, the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام that the believer's example should be like the bee When it eats, when it goes to a place it only puts itself in a طيب place a place that is طيب that is good, that is a clean that is a pure, that is life of That is the flowers. And when it produces something, what comes out of it is tayyib. That is the honey. 
something likable, something pleasant, something good. And when it falls down, it falls down gently. It does not break anything and not, does not cause any harm, does not cause any damage. And these are the, th the three elements that the Prophet ﷺ is outlining in this example. How can you be a tayyib? How could you be the person that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described in this ayah? Because you are tayyib in this life, in the world, Allah will make you tayyib in the hereafter and will make you deserving or qualified by His mercy to be admitted to paradise. These are the elements that the Prophet ﷺ has chosen out of all these insects, out of all these bugs, gave you the example of the bee, because the bee is tayyib. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you, if you follow that example, the Prophet ﷺ has shown you, you will become tayyib, deserving to be in paradise by His mercy subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the first lesson you learn from this, that the mu'min is tayyib, and his example or example in this life is just as rare as the bee amongst the rest of the animal insects. You have millions of species of insects that are countless and constitute the majority of living things on this earth and in the ocean. And the bee is one out of millions and millions. And this is how important and how significant in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you are a mu'min that is tayyib, you become one out of billions of people throughout history till the day of judgment that achieve what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to be. And these are the simple three things. When you take something, it has to be clean, it has to be pure, it has to be good. And when something comes out of you, it has to be good, it has to be purified, it has to be acceptable to people. And when you're in trouble, such as when the bee falls down, you does not cause any harm or damage. Very simple. Three things. So the first one, that the input that the believer has, anything that comes to that person has to be good. And the first one is the knowledge that you acquire has to be tayyib. Meaning fulfills what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes and fulfills what the Prophet has accepted for you and fulfills what's been acceptable by common law. Any input that comes to, the, to your heart, to your soul, to your mind, has to be tayyib. And the knowledge is one of the most important things. For knowledge could be beneficial, and could be destructive, could be devastating, and could be very damaging and harmful at, at an individual level or at a collective level to the other people. So you need to monitor that anything you're acquiring in terms of knowledge is tayyib. Such as the bee, when it goes to the flowers, to the fields, it only takes what's good for itself, what's beneficial, what's useful, what's of help and productive. And that is the most element that the believer should acquire. Only that is what is useful. Because that knowledge, again, could be more damaging than anything else. And this is something you have to guide your children to, especially when they have open access and open exposure to social media and to TV and all sorts of damaging things around them. You need to guide them to remain like a bee. Only get in, only download to that soul and heart and mind what is useful to them. And the second thing that the Prophet ﷺ also emphasized, that such as the bee only takes what's, what's good, your input of money and wealth should also be pure, <coughs> acceptable, likable, and lawful in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The mu'min has to eat what is tayyib, 
And the tayyib includes of a lawful source. That is what's tayyib in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you eat anything, when you acquire any wolf, it has to become, it has to be acquired from what is tayyib in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is 100% pure. And this is one of the hardest things at the end of the time. This is what the Prophet and scholars have said. One of the most rare things at the end of time, during the time of fitna, when the faith fades away, and when the light of guidance diminishes, قَالُوا dirhamun halal. Money that comes from a lawful source, pure source, that is not related to cheating, not related to deception, not related to bribery in any sort, not related to riba, to usury, not to, to related to any unlawful source that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has identified and taught us through the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said that a person who ayyuma lahmin nabata min suhtin fannar awla that any flesh, your physical being that comes out of haram impure source, unlawful sources, then that physical being does not belong to the Jannah. It is not the pure. And he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the fire is more worthy of that physical being. So again just like a bee that only takes what is pure, your wealth has to be pure in a sense that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts, accepts only what is lawful and that's the way the Prophet alayhi salatu has taught you. It's through hard work, it's through honesty, and through valid means of acquiring women. Without any manipulation, without any cheating, without any usury, without any unlawful source that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has identified. <laughs> and the list goes on and on, but in principle, Anything that you acquire, whether it's a relationship, whether it's knowledge, whether it's wealth, anything has to be tayyib. And that is the most important element. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, وَضَعَ Describing the bee, when it produced something, something good came out of it. And that is the example of the true believer that has become tayyib. All that output, anything that comes out of that believer should be tayyib. Should be acceptable, should be pure, should be good, should be likable and pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Any word that comes of the believer should be tayyib. And indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described the people of paradise by saying, وَهُدُوا إِلَى الطَّيِّبِ مِنَ الْقَوْلِ وَهُدُوا إِلَى صِرَاطِ الْعَزِيزِ الْحَمِيدِ They have been guided to the good speech, a speech that is tayyib. Those are who have been guided to the path of Allah the Aziz the Hamid. As simple as the speech, you think it's a trivial, it is not. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made association of the good word by his path of guidance. This is how serious the talks are. So make sure you're just like a bee. Any word that comes out of you is always good. And any action or deed that comes out of you is also productive, useful, of benefit to you or to those who are around you. For the believer that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described is always something good. Someone does not cause any harm or damage in the society. And the third element is the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam describing as when that bee falls down, hurt, in trouble, قَالَ لَمْ تَكْسِرْ وَلَمْ تُفْسِدْ It does not break anything, it just goes down on the ground. Does not break anything and does not harm. And does not initiate anyone with harm for that matter. It does not sting anyone or bite anyone unless it is attacked. And even when it, when it falls down, 
no harm comes out of it. It's limited to itself. And this is what the example of the believer should be. The first one, that should be gentle. Does not cause any problems to the people surrounding you. When a mistake happens, when a problem happens, the believer should be contained, should be patient, should realize that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who caused this to happen and nothing would have happened without his permission subhanahu wa ta'ala and for that matter should minimize any catastrophe and should minimize that response to what is acceptable in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No anger, no wrath, no retaliation, no moral, mental or physical damage to others. Why? Because it does not help. And this is what the Prophet ﷺ is telling you, which is related to the second element. In order to be in order to be tayyib, in order to deserve to be tayyib in the akhirah and enter the paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to fulfill that. When something wrong happens, you're always limited and adhering to the to the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all what you do. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those who are tayyib. And to make us anything that we take is tayyib. Anything that comes out of us tayyib. And if anything wrong comes, we remain tayyib. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah wa lakum. Thaya fawza al-mustaghfirin astaghfirullah.